Okay, my friends, uh, I was in the, uh, I was in, I was on, on the Pimax Discord the other day. I think it was, it might have been Sebastian's uh, Discord for Pimax headsets. And uh, one of the uh, chaps there asked if I could do a video on using the software adjustment for vertical and horizontal IPD. Now that's a good question, good thing to do, and it's a good thing to try because um, a lot of us don't have perfectly symmetrical faces. So sometimes, although our IPD may be exactly 60 millimeters, it might be that one eye is a little higher than the other or that one eye is a little closer to center than the other. And so you have to adjust within the software because the Pimax software won't do that for you. You'll notice that uh, there, I just fired up Pimax and the crystal found me right away, which is a beautiful thing. <laughs> it doesn't always work that way. So I thought what we do is, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm getting old and tired. <laughs> well, <laughs> my wife always says, what do you mean getting? You've been there for a while, buddy. Yeah, okay, well, it's hard to be an old fat man in a cruel world. But let's... Um, Let's give this a try. Let's go to device settings and we'll go to, is it under advanced? I think it is. No. Yeah, there it is. Horizontal, horizontal IPD. Now with my 8KX, because it wouldn't adjust down as low as my IPD, which was 58. It would only adjust to 60. I had to mess with it a bit. And what I found was I got a very clear picture in both eyes. If I did this, if I just moved the right eye over a bit, so I'm not sure exactly how to, uh, how to show that on the flat screen through VR. I would have to take a picture through the lens and, and you know, that's never ideal. So, uh, and of course your settings may be different anyway, but this is how you adjust it. If I click on default, it sets it back to zero and the screen vertical offset. Well, with these high resolution headsets, particularly the crystal. If you don't have the headset in the right spot on your face, you won't be looking through the center. And if you're not looking through the center, then you're going to see some blurring and some chromatic aberration. If you're looking through the center perfectly, then you'll find that the picture is clear almost to the very edges of your vision, both top and bottom and left and right. But you've got to be looking through the center. And sometimes you know, if your face is asymmetrical like mine, I've got an old Charlie Brown head, you might have to, you might have to fart around a bit with this vertical offset too. So left, right, I imagine clicking it to the right raises the vertical a little bit, clicking it to the left will, uh, will um, lower it a little bit. So you have to fool with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the settings that I always used about 1.1 there. And don't forget too, that your, your brain and your eyes will adapt. Um, what, what people for, forget and sometimes give up too soon. And I learned this with my first Oculus Rift is that your eyes will adapt. Your eyes, your brain will learn to see the image clearly because that's what your brain does. It processes the images from both eyes, all that information and sorts it out and makes it look right. In the early 1960s, they did an experiment with astronauts where they gave them glasses that turned everything upside down. So they wore them for a few days, and then when they took them off, they saw everything upside down. You know? um, <laughs> it was crazy, because what happened was they put the glasses on for three or four days, everything was upside down, and their brain said, oh, okay, I can fix this. Bing, they turned it upside right. So then when they took the glasses off, everything was upside down again. And almost nobody in the world has a prescription that's exactly the same in both eyes. So your brain naturally compensates for that. And you're using both eyes and it, it puts together an amalgam, a kind of a mixture of the images and the information to create a clear picture in your brain. So if it's not perfectly clear, but it's as good as you can get, try it for a few days and see if your mind and brain work to make the image clearer. But in the meantime, you might want to try fooling with this horizontal IPD offset. Now, let's just see. What game can I play that would fire up fairly quickly? 
not Flight Sim 2020 because uh, you can grow a beard waiting for that to boot. It's worth it. But oh my gosh. Uh, let's try DCS. I haven't tried DCS in a while. I think it should work. Just let me turn on... I'll turn on the Pimax control panel so that we can run it in XR. It's as easy as firing this up, setting it on Pimax. I'll turn off the mirror window. I don't need it for uh, DCS. And um, I think the Open XR Toolkit's already running, but I'll make sure it is. Yes, it's enabled. I can actually close it. I don't need to leave it open. Uh, and now we'll try firing up DCS. What have I got it set for? Balanced. I don't know what that means. One. Okay, set for one. Well, that should be all right. Render quality set for one, and we'll see. We'll see what uh, whether or not I can see clearly. I can see clearly now. The heads. Anyway, that's a sorry. Sometimes I forget that I'm I'm really not a singer. Let's hit start. We'll close that. Well, it usually fires up faster than that. C'est quoi ton problème, monsieur? Let me just... I might have changed something in settings somewhere. All right, DCS isn't running. I'm going to start it. I'm going to start it from the icon on the screen, which is also set to run the executable in the... Um, in the MT, the binary MT folder, which will give us multi-threading and um, OpenXR native, which will be nice. So let's see if this works. And I can shut this down. Oh yeah, so DCS is running, but I'm going to have to give it permission. Here we are, I'll log in. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. And then when it pops up, it should uh, just naturally turn to my headset. Now, the one thing with these IPD adjustments in software that I haven't uh, really sat through and sorted out yet with the crystal and the new heart, the new software, is do you need to restart the game when you reset the IPD? When you adjust it you may have to but let's just see what it looks like i've been running it set to default and maybe it will be a little bit clearer if i do it this way i'm just going to reset my oh where's me mouse there it is all right i'm going to reset my headset i'll open the sound settings i'll set it to go to my digital audio no, that's not what I want. Pimax definition audio. No, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm confusing myself. Master volume set to 80. That's good enough. Good. Okay. So now I'll put the headset on. I think we're seeing just one eye in this view. I should still be using my studio microphone. And I've got my brand new replacement Pimax. Quite excited about that. It really didn't take them long to get me a new one. I sent my old one in about three weeks ago and got this this one in replacement the, old, the other day. So pretty happy about that. Window was out of focus. That usually means there's something in front of it. So what I need to do is click on this, I guess. Okay. And I think this new crystal is a bit more comfortable than my old one. Okay. All right. Let's try instant action. So right now, I think I'm looking through the left eye. It's very clear. Looking through the right eye, it's not quite so clear. Together, it's quite clear. Now I'm going to go back to... 
I'm going to go back to Pimax. And I'm going to try resetting this. I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video. You may not. But what I'm going to do is adjust the uh, adjust the settings. I'm going to just take that off a bit and go the other way so that I've moved my right eye slightly leftward in terms of perspective. Now, and I don't know if I'll have to restart the game or not. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, I think that's what I'll have to do. But I won't bother with that today. But that's the process. You, uh, It's basically a hold your tongue just so and set it up this way and that and see how it looks. And uh, I'm not going to bother playing a game. I don't want this uh, this video to go on for too long. But it's really important to make sure that your eyes are in the center of the seat sweet spot. And right now this is pretty good. It might also be that my right eye isn't quite as strong as my left eye. And eventually I'll adapt because my vision is not 2020. It's 2025 in the right eye and about 2027 in the left. So good enough to drive, even good enough to fly as a wreck pilot. But I had uh, I have glasses that I used to get me to 2020 or 2021. And uh, that's what I used when I was flying. But anyway... That's how you adjust IPD, and it's the same principle for the vertical. So um, if you have everything set to default, and you're pretty sure you've got the headset in the right location on your face, um, then you might want to try adjusting this software manually, just uh, tweaking your IPD that way. It was pretty common with the 8KX to have to spend quite a bit of time um, working on that until you got it right. And then once you know your settings, you're good to go. And I found it very useful. Um, there are some methodologies we used to use for the 8KX, uh, which you could probably find if you look at Sebastian's channel, MRTV. I think he did a video on it. But this is the, the short and long of it is just how to find the IPD adjustment in software and, and the Pimax client and use it. And I hope it's useful to you. Now I'm still a little bit, a uh, little bit under the weather, and I have a sore throat, so I'm going to stop rambling now. For which you will probably be eternally grateful anyway. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I hope this helps you. And if, if you like content that's about flight simulation and VR, and occasionally about sports cars, then uh, I hope you'll drop back and see us again, and maybe even click like. Or subscribe? Dare I hope for that? Oh, I dare. I do dare. <laughs> I do dare that. If you can subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Help the channel grow. And I'll tre keep trying to provide interesting and useful videos that are occasionally, I hope, entertaining. In the meantime, have yourself a great day. And we'll talk soon.